From LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Mornings LA Late. It's a beautiful Wednesday morning here on Early Mornings LA with incredible great details about your Force Stimulus Check update of 2021. In this recording, we go over the Force Stimulus Check, how much you're going to get, and the breaking news unfolded yesterday, Tuesday, of all the incredible details and what to expect for the rest of this week for Force Stimulus, that monthly stimulus check that starts the month of July. Then the second half of this video would go to fifth stimulus that'll raise your benefits up a lifetime and why the benchmark is going to get a major surprise later potentially this week with new breaking news. And then in the middle of this recording, we go over the thousands of dollars that viewers continue to get and it's all for you as well. And then a personal message at the end of this video. It's a big morning. The toast is toasted. The butter is buttering. I am back, baby. And the, and the bacon's still missing. Uh, you know, at least you can have the bacon ready for my return. This is Early Mornings LA. It's Wednesday morning, direct to you from Southern California, from here in Santa Monica. Hope you are having a beautiful new Wednesday morning. I am glad to be back. And how is the weather where you are this morning? Tell me where you're watching from and how's the weather. In this first stimulus check of 2021 today, we'll be going over how much you get, when you're going to get it, and the breaking news unfolded yesterday, and what you should expect for the rest of this week. Then we turn to fifth stimulus to raise your benefits up, lifetime, and what that will be modified potentially by the end of this week with new economic data. And then we turn to the exciting big money that's available for you. And then a finally personal message. This is LLA, the only 24 hour a day, seven days a week financial news channel. I'm back with you live this morning at nine o'clock with mornings LA new shows live at 9 a.m. Then at 11 a.m. with noontime live on air and then back this afternoon with new shows at afternoons LA three and then evenings LA. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers, a YouTube record for a reason. The most comprehensive, the most accurate and the most comprehensive. Did I say comprehensive? Because <laughs> there is in a given day. 400,000 subscribers, a YouTube record. Subscribe. Also like this video and consider becoming a member. Let's get right into that fourth stimulus check that has a House bill and a Senate proposal. The House bill provides a stimulus check for the remainder of the pandemic plus one year. The Senate proposal, on the other hand, provides a stimulus check for less months. Let's compare and contrast. Jalapal's House bill provides a stimulus check for the remainder of the pandemic plus one year, whereas the Senate proposal provides a stimulus check from July to December. Let's then look at the monthly amount. The monthly amount is $2,000 a month over for the first month from the House bill and $1,000 thereafter. The Senate proposal, on the other hand, is a monthly amount unknown, but word on the street is it's this. Wow. Yes. $2,000 a month over six months, $12,000 an individual. Or $1,400 a month over six months, $8,400 an individual. If you're watching the show when it airs and debuts at 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, get ready to vote House or Senate, but not just yet. I have something to go over with you about the macroeconomics that may modify Jalapal's bill. It is the issue of pandemic. Some legislators may contend the pandemic is over for legislative purposes when the vote is called. That would result in Jalapal's bill providing a stimulus check for not the pandemic plus one year, but just one year. That would be 12 checks over 12 months or $13,000 under the House bill compared to the Senate proposal over six months of this. <laughs> All right, I think you have an opinion now. Jump into the live chat. House or Senate, which one do you like? Tell me where you're watching from this Wednesday morning. Tell me how the weather is as well. There you go. Let's go over everything else you need to know about this forced stimulus check. Who gets it? You do. <laughs> so if you make less than 75000 an individual, you get the forced stimulus check. Married couple, 150000 or less, you get the forced stimulus check. Just double it. Household four or less, you get the forced stimulus check. Just quadruple it. And if you are on benefits, congratulations, you get the forced stimulus check, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, and veterans benefits. The forced stimulus check is not income, so it's not taxable. 
the four stimulus check would not come out on the waves because it's not a waveable check. Hi, check. No, it's not waveable. The four stimulus check would not come out, uh, would not be taken out for uh, for child support. We don't know that answer yes, just yet. But the four stimulus check would not have a different amount for different people. It's the same check for everyone. Adult dependents, minor dependents, and everyone else. And the four stimulus check would start in the month of July, they represent. Remember, they make the representations, not me. They're the legislators. They represent the vote would be by July 4th. That means that the fourth check would go, fourth stimulus check would start in the month of July for the month of July, and then the month of August for the month of August. And there you go. That is the first First of three parts of the four stimulus check update of 2021 in this recording, but stay with me because of the second half of this recording, the second part, I'm going to be going over the breaking news that formed yesterday, Tuesday, that you need to know and what you should anticipate today, Wednesday, for what else is happening in this four stimulus check update. But first, let's get a preview of the second half of this video. In the second half, I'll be going over fifth stimulus that'll raise your benefits up a lifetime, and we'll be seeing why the benchmark may get modified, at least in principle, or at least in analysis later this week, based upon new economic data that is wonderful. <laughs> Great news there. All right, let's cut now to some even better great news, which is thousands of dollars the viewers continue to get. It is rent, utilities, food, internet, mortgage assistance, and it's about $350 billion for you. Uh, no, not all for you. You got to share. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two forty nine or you know three forty nine for you, and then like a half a billion for me, please. <laughs> it's uh, coming from your federal government, your cities, counties, and states this week, and you have been killing it. You have been killing it. But I want you to continue to do this because guess what? This is the single biggest payout you're going to get on this channel before for stimulus. It is thousands of dollars and people are killing it. Let's go to the first pot of money. It is money for rent. It's about $5,000 for rent, four to six months of rent. I want you to get it. Get a pen and paper already because I got a lot of money to give you. Stay with me to the very end because I'm going to go over all that incredible money, thousands of dollars that you're entitled to. And it's going to start in just a second. First, we're going to go over why there are so many places to find it. But first, I'm going to show to you that it's important to know that each place has their own eligibility. So if we reach out to one that says not available, then reach out to the next because they have all their own eligibility for that money. They also have their own pots of money. So you ready? Get that pen and paper ready and let's get to it with the six places. City Hall, City Housing Authority. County Hall, County Housing Authority. State Hall, State Housing Authority. You're going to reach out to them and get that Rent assistance because of COVID. Those are the key words you use. Rent assistance because of COVID. You could also say mortgage assistance because of COVID. But you don't say falafel with side of cream cheese. <laughs> they won't know what that means. Or stimulus. So don't say stimulus or falafel side of cream cheese because they just, uh, sir, this is not, yeah, duh. This is not the delicatessen. Uh, and we don't know what their stimulus is, so you got to say the key correct words. All right, and congratulations to Tim and, L and uh, Linda, who got this money recently, and the thousands of viewers that do as uh, on a regular basis. If you're one of those viewers who send, who is, who has gotten money for rent or utilities or any of these incredible sums of money, even if it's $100, jump into the live chat and say what you got, because it inspires other viewers to get it as well. It also inspires me that the videos are helping people. All right, now let's turn to the next pot of money, and boy, it is wonderful. It is wonderful, I want to congratulate Cod, who got it now a week ago, and it, uh, excuse me, uh, uh, Lynn Glenn, who got it for her son, for herself, and her mom, and I also want to congratulate Gail, who got it as well, and then a viewer who on Morning to LA earlier this week said that she had gotten six to $7,000 for it. What is it? You know what it is. It's now. Nah, it's a fortune. I'm going to go over what it is, how you get it, and when you're going to get it, and why is it so much money. What is that? It is money for food. How do you get it? Department of Agriculture. Reach out to DOA, Department of Agriculture. The eligibility is generally about the same as a stimulus check. And then how much do they pay? A family of foreign in Hawaii is getting upwards of $16,000 a year. Wow. Why so much? Because of two wonderful executive orders. One from Biden and one from Trump that raised everyone's benefits up 15% between now and December. So go get that money. There you go. That is snap $15,000, $16,000 for family four in Hawaii. $5,000 for the rent. We are killing it, people. And we are only nine minutes of this video. Well, I got more money for you right now. And it is thousands of dollars. One viewer got $5,000 from it. And let's go over what it is. 
it is that wonderful money coming from the federal government back to you via the states. And let's go over the details. The federal government has ordered the states to return back to you the money that they had overpaid you due to computer error. Well, guess what? The federal government identified states as overpaying you unemployment benefits due to computer error and then asking you to return the money, which you did. Well, the federal government said, nope, that was your money to keep. And so now the federal government has said that is your money and has ordered the states to return the money to you. Congratulations. Next, how are you going to get the money? To the bank account you have on file with your state. Filing when? Reach out to your respective state. Every state has different routing times. Which brings me to the next pot of money, and that money is wonderful. We've had several viewers who have jumped into Overnight's Crypto, which is our really runaway massive hit show. It just finished a, uh, last night finished a 48 hour run. Yeah, it was a little bit longer than usual. It's usually 13, 15 hours long. And it's just wonderful. And three viewers have jumped into that live chat in the last week to say, tell viewers that I got the money as well. I want them to know it, their money's coming. Isn't that wonderful? That is a true spirit of the purple power of this channel. People helping each other and they step forward. Thank you to Cod and the two other viewers who did that as well. What is this money? It is the money coming back from the federal government that you pay taxes on for your unemployment assistance. Let's go over how much you, it is, when you get it, how you get it, and how to track it. Let's go over what this money is. First, it is the taxes you pay to IRS on that 2020 unemployment benefits. So for example, let's say you had $9,000 of unemployment benefits. You paid $5,000 of total taxes to IRS, of which $4,000 was your taxes on that unemployment benefits. Congratulations, you are getting back $4,000 from IRS. Next, when? It's coming uh, in the month of June. How? Direct deposit, if you're like Cod, the viewer of this channel, who got it last week, if you put that on your 2020 tax return, otherwise in the mail, in an envelope. So watch that mail. It is a laser-thin envelope. You want to go surgically through that mail, so make sure you don't discard it. And finally, how can you track it? Wonderful news. Go to iris.gov, sign up, your username and password, put your social security number in it, and track it. 70% of the time, it'll show when you file that 2020 tax return, when you pay the taxes on it, and when that refund check is coming. And there you go. And what is better than that? More of our four stimulus check updated 2021 part two starting right now. There's been a lot of developments about second st four stimulus in the last two days while I've been away. And let me give you the details about them. It started on Saturday when the president consummated a major deal that brings four stimulus from here to the finish line. It continued when the president confirmed that talks are off with the Republican, uh, uh, with Republican side. It continued with the president then signaled he would listen to others. And it was also amplified with the wonderful news that the Democratic leadership in the Senate had gotten cohesive despite initial strange wranglings over the weekend. And finally, it also got wonderful when we learned yesterday, which is Tuesday, that the House is already, quote, marking up the reconciliation substantive bill. Oh, yes, this is wonderful. Let me go over how we got to all those major developments you're hearing for the first time at Early Mornings LA. But first, let me bring you up to the present. It started the Friday before Memorial Day weekend when Leader Schumer confirmed not one, but three items which I have been reporting on this channel. Number one, Leader Schumer confirmed that one, that the reconciliation process had already begun. Number two, the reconciliation process will end by July 4th. Number three, that the reconciliation process will not be held up due to any bipartisan negotiations that the president does or doesn't do. How did Leader Schumer get to that point? because of pushing, again, from Jalapal. That familiar name that wrote that House bill that provides a monthly stimulus check. When Jalapal wrote that bill, over 100 House Democrats wrote the president a letter saying that, we're, that they are gonna put that monthly stimulus check into the fourth stimulus package. Well, what did those people do? Um, among them, 12 co-signed Jalapal's letter to Schumer over a week ago, saying, call the vote. What are we waiting for? Call the vote. Yes, 12 of the 100 House Democrats who said to the president they're going to put the monthly stimulus checks in the fourth stimulus package also supported Jalapal's letter to Schumer. That is wonderful news. Can we top that? Oh, boy, can we top it. When about a week ago, 
seven House Democrats then wrote the president a letter saying, we're going to put and work with you to put multiple stimulus checks into the fourth stimulus package. Wow. Who are these seven people? And what does that mean to work with him? Well, it's a euphemism because the president doesn't write legislation. The Congress does, which they're currently doing. More about that in a second. And so what does that mean? It means that these seven people are writing the legislation to put the monthly stimulus checks at the fourth stimulus package. Oh, my goodness. That is good news. Well, who are these people? They are the people on the subcommittee of the House that is solely and exclusively responsible for writing monthly stimulus checks or any stimulus checks. They wrote the first stimulus check? Yes. The second stimulus check? Yes, they wrote that too. They wrote the third stimulus check? Yeah, they wrote that too. And now they say they're writing the fourth stimulus checks. Oh my goodness. Yes, I don't think, I don't, I think Captain Obvious is outside the window, but I just, you know, are you there? <laughs> it's just incredible news. And then the news got even better. When the president over the weekend on Saturday confirmed a major surprise detail. I had told you, earlier last week that on a Tuesday, the President of the United States had done something very fascinating, but confusing that I said I had to slow it down to explain it to you. Remember that? I had said to you that the corporate tax rate is being raised from 21% to a higher number under the four stimulus to pay for four stimulus. But that the President had an idea to reach out to global leaders to raise the global minimum corporate tax rate. And that the President had, week about a week ago, got in a tentative agreement, yes, and then told his insiders at the White House, that if those G7 countries agree to a global, a global minimum corporate tax rate higher, a 15%, that he would then come back after four stimulus has passed and reduce the global corporate, the U.S. corporate tax rate. In essence, what the president said was that he would first pass four stimulus, then reach out to those G7 countries, get them to sign on the dollar line, and then come back and drop the U.S. corporate tax rate lower back to where closer where it is right now. Wow, that was incredible news then. Stimulus checks and a corporate tax rate closer to where we are? Yeah, that's what he said at the time. But it got even better news on Saturday. On Saturday, the president of the United States did not surprise us with a meeting because on Friday I had said to you that I had heard that the president was having a meeting with G7 countries on Saturday. And I said, stay with me this sat last Saturday because something's breaking and I want you to have the breaking news first here. And then it broke. The president of the United States on Saturday made a massive deal for four stimulus. He got the G7 countries to agree to raise the global minimum corporate tax rate unofficially on Saturday, and then said this week he will be meeting with them in person to sign it into law. Oh my goodness. So he's doing that before Forced Stimulus? Yes. Why? To get Forced Stimulus to the finish line. Wow. That was incredible great news. As if it couldn't get more incredible, it did. Then the president, uh, then the president made very clear that he was not holding up any of the legislation, that he was allowing the bipart that he was allowing the reconciliation process to continue. So what happened then yesterday, Tuesday, and since Sunday? Well, a series of other major breaking development details happened since then. First, we have learned that the Democratic leadership in the Senate is now back cohesive after some confusion on Sunday about support for forced stimulus. It is now cohesive. Number two, the biggest one, the biggest and most exciting one is that the House subcommittee is already, quote, marking up the substantive for stimulus legislation. Wow. Incredible. So there you go. Finally, what should you anticipate for later this week? The President of the United States has formally ended his chats with Shelley Capito, um, Shelley Moore Capito, the Republican designee for the negotiations up until just a few days, up until about yesterday. And it signaled that he's willing to talk to other Republicans. But at the moment, the President understands the reconciliation process is the only way to go. And boy, can it get better than that? It does with the volunteers and rent and the utilities. If you're having problems getting rent, utilities, or food, or internet, don't worry, because the spirit of this channel is helping people. From day one, the spirit of this channel has been me helping people. When this channel launched, my immediate focus was not reporting news, running news stories, but helping you get money. And initially, people's EIDL loans were not being approved, so I stepped in and personally handled their EIDL loans. I got over $25 million of EI loans approved because I personally stepped in and helped them save their businesses, save their homes, and save their employees' homes. But then in fall of 2020, we thought that second stimulus may not be heading to the finish line. So I understood the importance of you getting rent, utilities, and food. 
and that became purple. And I got viewers over half a quarter million dollars at the time. Well, the viewers that watch this channel also embody the incredible spirit of love, compassion, and helping one another. And that's the true spirit of Purple Power. And volunteers have now stepped forward, viewers just like you, to help you get that rent utilities, mortgage assistance, and homeowners utilities. And so if you've had problems finding that money, they can help you as well. How do you find them? Open the description of this video. Go down in the description and find them uh, next to an emoji of a house and a link to news.la.com forward slash community. Click the link, it'll send you over to the community page. It has a picture of some kitty cats. They're, they're not the volunteers, they're just kitty cats. <laughs> they go lower on the page and you'll find the volunteers. They have everything but bacon. I mean, even they don't have my bacon. <laughs> Go down the page and you'll find them. They're separated by Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Reach out to them and they'll help you get that wonderful money. Uh, ask them if they have my bacon while you're at it. <laughs> and here's a little bit about the volunteers. I'll be back in 60 seconds with more exciting details about Forest Stimulus, what to anticipate later this week on Forest Stimulus, the great news about Fist Stimulus and its twists, and a personal message for me as well. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings at 8 at 9 a.m. Home LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues right now on Early Mornings LA. I'm so excited to be back. The coffee is brewing, the toast is toasting, the butter is buttering, and the bacon is still missing. <laughs> How's the weather where you are? Uh, is it hot outside to uh, brittle some bacon for me? Some gross. <laughs> it's just hot enough to put some bacon outside so it burns up. I uh, hope the weather is good where you are. Hope it's not too hot. Tell me where you're watching from and how's the weather. This is Early Mornings Ally. Subscribe, 400,000 subscribers, a YouTube record for a reason. The most comprehensive, the most fun, and the most accurate, and the most engaging community there is. Fastest growing financial channel, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I'm next with you with Mornings LA live on air, so don't miss a single video. Also, like this video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. Let's get in right into Fifth Stimulus, and I'll, you'll learn a little bit more about membership in just a second. Fifth stimulus heats up this fall and it raises up your benefits. But what you know is Thursday, we're also gonna see some other economic data besides Thursday's data that could impact your fifth stimulus. Fifth stimulus will raise your benefit limits up, then remove the asset limit and an inflationary benchmark, then remove the income exclusion and remove the marriage penalty. Let's go over what fifth stimulus involves. The breaking news from the last 24 hours that impacts this and also what to anticipate later this week. First, before I get to the, uh, all the analysis, I'm gonna go over the breaking news. The president announced, I believe it was on Tuesday, that he's dedicating in his new budget, which is different than all these stimulus packages, and a massive allotment, billions of dollars, to the Social Security Administration so that they could ramp up their processes and deliver funds faster to you. So I want you to know that that announcement was made. It's in there. It's not a lot likely to be opposed because it's, 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 it's a bipartisan effort. But it doesn't send you direct money. 
but it will facilitate easier uh, relief for you going forward, including fifth stimulus. Uh, and then let's go now over what fifth stimulus involves. First, they're gonna raise your benefits up a big new amount. That'll be the big new lift under fifth stimulus. Who's that for you if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans benefits, survivor benefits, SSA, or any other type of benefits? Your benefits will be raised up one big time. Then they'll apply a benchmark. That benchmark is inflation. Elizabeth Warren went CPIE, not as much as inflation, and it's currently COA, not much of anything at all. Let's go over why this is incredible great news and what you should anticipate for later this week about that breaking news. There's been a lot of reports, including one of the heads of Deutsche Bank and a lot of Wall Street analysts that says the inflationary rate is going to be very high now in December. Those statements came out this week after we certainly thought that the inflation rate is going to be 3 to 7%. So let's just choose a number, 6%, to understand how this works. First, they'll raise your benefits up one big time. Then they'll apply that benchmark. Let's say it's 6%. Here's what happens. Next December, at, in December, they would look at that inflationary rate, let's say it's 6%, and then raise it up, but not just next year. Lifetime. Because the way that benefits works is once they raise you up, they never step you down. Yes. And then... After that, if the year inflation the year after that is 0%, you're still at plus 6%. If the inflation rate after that is 1%, then you're at plus 1 and plus 6%. Wonderful news. So what else is in that the stimulus? Well, they're going to remove the asset cap. <laughs> it's going to go away. Getting rid of that 1980s law that says you can't, war, you can't have more than $3,000 on hand just in time to get those stimulus checks in your hand. They're going to remove the income cap dating back to a horribly old 1960s law that says you can't work and also stay on benefits. It's going to go away, so you'll be able to work if you want. And finally, the marriage penalty, just awful, penalizes you if you want to get married and prevents you from getting married for fear of losing benefits. It's going to go away, and love is going to win, and you'll be able to marry your long-time love interests. That's fifth stimulus. Now, it's important to understand that there's a lot of other money in fifth stimulus than just SSI and SSDI reform. And in a given day, I don't have enough time in a video that's 30 minutes, that's currently running at 27 minutes, to put everything into the video about what's in fifth stimulus, what's in fourth stimulus, and what's in third stimulus. So it's important for you to know where your money is, how you get the money, and what money's in all yours. Because some of the money is not automatic. It's not automatic. you got to apply for it. And that's the value of membership. The membership link's at the top of the chat in the pinned comment. Members are delivered to me each day, a breakdown of what's in fifth stimulus, What's a fourth stimulus and what's a third stimulus? So they know what is actually in these packages. So they know what money they are entitled to. And so that they don't get confused which is third versus which is fifth. I had someone overnight send me a message of talking about uh, something from third and said, where is the fifth stimulus item? And uh, where is the SSI in the third? No, the, the, when you're not a member, it, it's very confusing because if you don't have them broken down for you, that is why it is, it's hard to follow. So consider becoming a member. The link's at the top of the chat and pinned comment. Everything breaking down to you, including what's in the fourth stimulus and what's entitled to you for third stimulus. And now let's go to the third section of the fourth stimulus check update of 2021 of this video. We're going to be going over first, calling the vote, what it means, and also a personal message about fourth stimulus. All right, calling the vote, what does that mean? Calling the vote is a nine-step process, at least, to get the vote can get the four stimulus to the finish line. It's required by the Constitution, a way to cut corners. And let's go over all the details. Step one, the first few steps are all procedural. The second half of the steps are all substantive. Step one, the House calls a, House subcommittee calls a vote on the procedural bill. Step two, the House floor votes on the procedural bill. Step three, the Senate votes on the procedural bill. And step four, the President signs into law the procedural bill. At that point, the tow truck has passed over the finish line. Time to go back and get the tow hitch, the substantive bill. Step Five, the House subcommittee writes the substantive bill. Now, at that point, they can put the monthly stimulus checks in there. They don't have to, but they can. Step six is the House floor votes on the substantive bill. Step seven and eight is the two-day voterama at which those senators vote on what they want in the for stimulus. They do amendments. So if the House didn't put in stimulus checks, the senators can. If the House did put in stimulus checks, the senators can leave it alone, or they can amend them. And step nine, the president signs into law. Finally, a personal message about four stimulus. You have been wonderful in really grabbing all the incredible details of what is in four stimulus. 
And what I also want to go over with you is the yes or no or how or where elements that you need to know, which I detailed, I think it was maybe on Friday. Because somewhere on social media and here and there, I see a lot of people who are not viewers of this channel, who are not subscribers or not members, getting confused about what things are and how they are. Number one, in there or not in there, it's my most favorite expression. <laughs> I say that sarcastically. People are referring to things like they're, they're in there, like there's a vase sitting in the Senate chambers. It's in there. No, it's not in there. Uh, here's what you need to know, is that there is no vase. There's no four stimulus package vase, and that everyone has seen a copy of, has seen this vase, and have walked up and said, oh, it's not in there. <laughs> I just I just love people have those comments. It's not in there. Uh, the, the, the vase does not exist. Why? Because the final bill has not been written. So I don't know who these people keep on saying it's not in there. Uh, or it's in there. <laughs> Number two, let's assume the vase did exist. Well, the way the Votorama works those final two days in the Senate, the, the senators can take the vase and break it. <clears throat> Or you know, send it to the to the uh, to the glass blower and blow it and turn it into a blue vase, or a, a muddle blue vase, or a teal vase. Oh God forbid! Uh, <laughs> but they can modify the vase, and so there's always someone that's on social media saying it's not in there. Well, yeah, but there it can be absolutely modified to the very last second. <laughs> Number two, uh, the, the whole notion of people talking. He's not talking. She's not talking about it. He's not talking. They're not talking. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, there's something. There's so, yeah, I know we're in a digital era where we want people to be tweeting every minute of everything they're doing. But legislators in 2021 are different than legislators in 2020. It's not election year. A lot of tweets and a lot of messages by officials in 2020 were for political gains. There's no election going on, so a lot of a lot of elected officials are not giving you the tweets or the press releases like you would have expected. Um, I remember fully that in 2020, I was running a press release from a particular House member with a particular hairstyle uh, every Friday. <laughs> Every Friday, there's a press release. And sometimes there's a press release on Wednesday and Thursday. They just don't do it that way anymore. Um, next, there's a lot of... Um, there is a lot of words that start in a place, and then within 24 hours, they change. So there was a particular Democrat um, who said a particular thing on Sunday, but by 24 hours later, he was retracting it. And by 72 later, hours later, other Democrats said he's no longer that position. So I want you to understand that things move very, very quickly, and that sometimes certain elected officials like to say certain things, but they don't do them, or they say things and they're like, well, I didn't really mean it that way. That's not what I meant. Here's what you need to know. <laughs> it's that uh, you have done a good job in pushing this purple power, but you need to do more. Elected officials have had passed laws that were to provide you money and you never got the money. Their fault, not your fault. They have had bills where they were to provide you money and they never called it a vote. Cash Act 2020, $3,200 for adult dependents, stimulus checks, never called to a vote. Retroactive stimulus checks, never called to a vote. They've had bills that they promised to give you and folded like lawn chairs. <laughs> Bernie Sanders, Josh Hawley, yeah, those, that group. And ultimately, what's important for you to know is you need to push. You've done a good job, but really not a lot of pushing. You need to tag those elected officials a lot more. Hashtag MSC, hashtag Purple Power. Because ultimately... They're writing the substantive legislation as recorded early, as reported early in this recording. They are now writing the substantive legislation. If there was a time to push, it's now to push. Not after they write the substantive le legislation. It is not going to work if you start tweeting them after they've written the legislation for the recon because it will have been written. And that your only hope then is that a senator makes an amendment. You want to be pushing now and not stopping the push all the way up to July 4th. And with that, thank you for joining me on a big early morning's broadcast that went a little bit longer than usual. Because <laughs> I was hoping for some bacon. But make sure you subscribe. 400,000 subscribers of YouTube record. Like this video. And consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. It's wonderful to be back. Thank you for your very kind messages. I'll see you next on Morning's LA live on air. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with LA. Today.